What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I'm here accompanied by Alex and Alexandra. What's up? We are starting a new series and it's called Rate Your Builds. So today we're going to go through 10 cars and we're going to rate their builds, talk about it, see if it's our style and whatnot. And at the end of it, we're going to give it basically a score out of 10. Hope you're excited. If you didn't get in, we're doing 10, 10 cars a video. So there's going to be way more episodes than this. So keep entering. All the details will be down below. You have to send good quality pictures of your car. It has to be modded and you gotta give me a list of it. And if you want, enter your Instagram name and whatnot. So let's get started. We're gonna start off first with Brian Elevati has an insane EK. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. Uh, he's entered into it. So we're gonna check it out, rate the build, and maybe say something we'd like to change for our own personal taste. And we'll go through a bit of the mods because it's his is just way too extensive. So we're gonna start off with the first picture. And this thing is, for, to me, this thing is slammed. Yeah. Absolutely slammed. Fitment is on point. Like, I, you can't really say anything bad about this build, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, this photo here specifically is like, this has been seen everywhere. You got a lot of recognition for this photo alone, That's really which is really cool. Yeah. And then, like, he's turboed. And uh, let's go through some of his mods right now. He's got a three pages of mods here. Oh, so we're just gonna go, we're gonna just start with his favorite mod. So this car is dedicated to his sister that passed away, unfortunately. And uh, his all time favorite mod is his center console that was fully hand engraved by her, which is awesome. Oh, As, that's cool. Yeah, so a lot yeah, of his parts, cool. he has custom parts and he gives a lot back to the Cancer Foundation and all that. And we reckon like, we praise him for that, that's really, really cool. So he's got an H22A Japan spec, precision 6076, turbo HKS, blowout valve, tile wastegate, custom, bunch of stuff, and it's pretty crazy. So what do you think? I like it, I well, like it. Would you change anything? Probably not. I, I dig the black and gold. Goldish, yeah, he's going for. It's a classic look. Yeah. And the car slammed, it's turbo, nitrous, don't know what else you can do to it. These are actually one of my favorite cars. All right, guys. So, on a count of three, we're gonna rate out of ten. And uh, starting at one, two, three, nine point five. Oh shame! I said ten. ten. I did. I said it. Nine. So why'd you say nine? To be honest with you, I guess I don't know. Uh, I would say like those visors. I don't know, like or the ones with the holes on it. And everything. I'd probably like lose that. Maybe change the wheels if that but no, just not your style in the sense yeah but like you know what at the end of the day it's it's a solid car like that's yeah. it that like that's just minor to me honestly like I, even if you kept the wheels the wheels are nicer anyways but yeah just yeah it's just, it it just more like just the clean like <laughs> just the oh i you guys probably see? use that in a show right or a show or whatever. yeah it's a show car at the end of the day yeah so but aside from that i i give it a nine man yeah a solid nine alexander you say 10 I so say 10. you wouldn't change nothing Probably not, no, I like it. So I said 9.5 personally because I love BBS RSs, but I, for me, like Alex said, I like more of a track wheel. I'd raise yeah. it with a meaty fitment. That's just personal taste. I love the slam look, it looks amazing. Yeah, of course. He's, yeah, he's yeah, bag, yeah. I think he's bag, nitrous, turbo. Yeah, the whole like, nine yards. Yeah, you yeah, can't do you much can't. more to the yeah. car. He's had it for a long time. Good job, Ryan. Yeah. And let's move on to the next one. Okay. <laughs> doop, doop. Caleb's boosted EP3. Nice. So that's what we're talking about now. <laughs> Caleb's boosted EB3 SAR. Pretty crazy build. We're going to go through some of the photos here so we can get an idea of how the car looks. And as you guys can see, looks like he's got an aftermarket steering wheel. All right. Full. That might be Beaks bar. I'm not sure. The bumper's cut too? Yeah, bumper's cut. Looks like a custom exhaust. Okay. He's, like, he's going for that really track fitment that I, I kind of went for with the CSX at one point with the vents and all that. Cool livery he did. I think he wrapped it himself. He's, I know he works on this by himself at home. He does most of his work and it's boosted. And let's just go through some of his mods he has here. He's had the car for about three years. He's had three motors, two transmissions. I guess you could say he's, <laughs> he's, he's beat that one. Yeah, he's worked that in very good. And uh, now he has a rebuilt K20 two, or K20 A2 with matching trans, AARP studs, 2000 CC injectors, um, full race sidewinder, precision 58, 58 5558 JB Turbo, and he's got quite a few other mods. Uh, he's making roughly about 400 to 450 oh, nice. horsepower. That's kind of the nice. goal for the EP3, so I may be a little biased here, but uh, yeah, this is solid. This is a solid, solid build so far. Um, 
Me personally, I'm gonna, I'll start first with this one. I have went through this phase where I went through with the whole diffusers, the canards, big wings, and I kind of fell out of it. That's my own personal taste. I think it's an awesome build all around, uh, but I would have toned it down just a bit from my personal taste. I still respect it and I think it looks badass. And uh, yeah, Alexander. It's a nice looking car. It looks really, really good. I like the colors, they complement each other very well. Mm -hmm. The aesthetic's very nice. I like it's unique. It's unique, yeah, no, for sure. The steering wheel is kind of cool, but I agree with what you said. Yeah. That probably goes with really For cool. me, I, I'm pretty like biased on like the whole clean look and everything. Uh, even when Chris went the, the whole tr yeah, like, race went, track thing, I'm not like too crazy about it, but I respect the build as well. Um, you know, the motor work and everything like that, like that's phenomenal, I, I really like that. Like even the wheels I like. Uh, personally for me, I'd probably stick to like one color uh, for me and uh, and I wouldn't have cut my bumper, but that's so, that is so respectable. Everybody does their own all thing. Personal all personal taste. All personal taste. You know, I'm not. I'm not. That's just my preference. Yeah. And what? But, go ahead. Sorry. But aside from that, I I really respect the car. Like it's. It looks oh, like you got a lot of quality parts on there. Uh, yeah, it's really really nice. I like it. But like I said, for me, it would be a solid color. Uh, and uh, yeah, probably like the the back bumper. I would have left it normal. But yeah, that's just my personal thing. But a good build. A good build. I like it. And. Here we're not trying to like sugarcoat everything, so we're just speaking the truth. So if you don't like some of our comments, we apologize. It's just personal taste. Mm -hmm. Most of these cars have been worked on, looks great, and like you can tell, this EP3 has had a ton of work. Three motors, yeah. two two transmissions, delivery, the bumpers, all quality parts. Like I said, like he said, for me personally, it would be a one color look. I've done this look before, and I kind of like not grew out of it, but I kind of phased out of it because you know I went back to the clean aggressive look. Uh, but very respectable build, and I guess we'll rate it. Okay. So on the count of three, one, two, three, eight point five, seven. You got? I'd say eight. Eight. All right. I have to think. I have to think. Let me think. Let me take it. Eight. Like I said, this is all just personal taste. Yeah, it's personal taste. Nothing, you know. I'm Nothing. not bashing the car or anything like that. It's just my personal. My, yeah, my personal taste. Ooh. So up next, we do have a CSX, Mr. Brian Tran. I am a fan of his build. I've known Brian for quite a long time as well. Thank you for entering. Appreciate that. And it's just a quality, like a quality, clean CSX. Uh, let's just go through some of the mods so we have an idea what he did. He's got a Mugen R body kit, Mugen visors. He did a K20Z motor with a six-speed manual transmission, uh, DC5 Brembos. He's kind of he has that race build. He's got a whole bunch of bars, like rear strut bars, side bars, all these bars. He likes tracking his car a lot, and you can tell with the parts he has on there, that's what he does. And uh, yeah, it's a very clean build. We only have two photos, as you guys see as well. Uh, he's on the track. So I'm assuming he's got bolt-ons? Yeah, he's got probably full bolt-ons. I can confirm that. Oh, he's got NVIDIA headers, HSD coilovers, Workin' Motion uh, T7Rs, which are nice, nice wheels. I like those. NVIDIA cat back. So he's fully bolted on Honda at a Flash Pro. Oh, he's, okay. got a, he's got the Type R Recaros, the FD2 Type R Recaros. I wish you sent a picture of that because that is like... Oh yeah? That's primo. Oh, those that's, are, those are yeah. nice. Oh, let's just start off this time. <laughs> so my opinion on it, would I change anything? I... Personally... Nah, I'd probably keep it like that. I'd maybe get like a, a hood. Maybe like a Jay's Racing hood or no, something like that, with like the same color maybe, the and keep it clean. And to me, I'd probably keep it like that, and then obviously boost or whatever, that's always fun too, so. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best, because it's nice. <laughs> that's nice. It's beautiful. No, I like it. It screams badass to me. For me personally, I love the car. Uh, I love everything about it. My only personal thing is I would change wheels, just my personal taste. Uh, but very clean build. He's got the K20Z3 fully bolted on. Ton of suspension mods done to stiffen the chassis. He tracks it. He builds. He tracks it. You got to respect that. You know, tracking is not. It's not a cheap hobby. Definitely, no. you go through a lot of tires and brakes. Uh, but very clean build. I wouldn't change much. Like the Jay's Racing hood would really complement it well. And you can use that to ventilate some heat for track purpose too. And uh, yeah, aside from that, I wouldn't change nothing. Clean, clean build. Good job, Brian. Out of 10, ready? One, two, three, nine, eight. 10. Oh, she's a fan. I like it. Alex is a hard critic. I'm like the medium critic, and she's I an like easy it. critic. Yeah. It looks <laughs> good. I like it. 
All right, so in this episode, we have three Brian's. I don't know if it's good luck or bad luck. <laughs> you guys judge. Uh, but we are going to go with Brian here. He has a 10th gen Civic. Oh, we're moving on to the new Civics. Let's uh, see how the car looks. Ooh. Uh huh. I like the fitment already. Yeah. That fitment. That stands. Yeah. That stands. Like Oof. Those are big. Those are big. I think those might be 19s. Those are those are huge. Holy smoke. But that yeah, fitment with RPF nice. ones. The low, oh, I like the picture, super man. clean. Yeah, is he in Alberta? Is he in Alberta? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Brian, you're in Alberta? Oh, that's nice, man. That's a nice photo. Yeah, like, you know what? He has no lips all around, but he's low, so he doesn't really need those lips. And let's see what he has done. Brian has a 2019 Civic SI Coupe. He's got three inch custom exhaust from the res back. Uh, stock tip, as you guys see, so it's probably louder, but it looks so we have really cool. Uh, PRL cold air intake, K tuner. He's got BC extreme lows of 24K spring rate. Wow, that thing's probably rough. But SBC front and camber arms, I'm assuming, rear camber arms. Then his NKs are 18 by 10 plus 38, 235, 40. Wow, plus 10. Oh, and then he has. 7k louis never heard of them i'm not that big into the stance wheels oh i'm assuming that was the one in the, the, yeah the they look bigger okay. than what they are but they're not yeah, those yeah. are 18 by 10 oh, plus shit, zero and you're not begged that's impressive wow that's impressive. i give you a, yeah. a very nice for you to run that you must be rubbing like crazy i don't know what you did but that looks sick that looks good me personally if i had to change anything maybe i would just get rid of the has he changed any here? No, he's got the chrome still. So I'll do the yeah. chrome delete. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Everything else I like, it's a clean it's build. Clean, Maybe man. like some small splitters in the front and the back to kind of complement the rear. Cause you see how the rear has kept that diffuser. Yeah. And if you have just thin splitters all around to like bring that flow through, I think it'd be nice, but you know, I really like the fitment. Very impressed with the fitment you got on that coupe, man. Yeah. Like yeah, I got, nice. I got like 18 by eight and a half plus 38 and I'm worried and look at this. So I know I can push my boundaries on my 10th. Very clean build, Brian. Would you change anything? No. Uh, to me, like I said, well, even you said, uh, the chrome. I, the chrome I probably, yeah, the chrome delete. Um, Simple. And then maybe a nice little exhaust in the back. Yeah. And then if you could push a lip, maybe push a lip. But aside from that, maybe like what he said, even like splitters or something, like a nice little lip on it around or something. Aside from that, it's a clean car. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't I'd know. be happy to drive that thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna rate it out of ten. Ready, set, go. Eight. Nine. I say nine. Good job, you guys are up there. I don't know if we're easy judges, but you guys have really nice cars. Next here we have Damon, and wow, we got something a little different. It's aside from the Honda game. Oh yes, it is. So it's an '87 Fiero GT. Start out with a three-speed automatic, and now he has a 2.8 liter v6 very very nice and i think he's supercharged now so the car roughly makes 270 horsepower nice he's got some uh kyv shocks custom straight pipe uh five speed manual transmission stage four clutch custom flywheel rims tires cradle brace short shifter digital gauges so he's taken an 87 kind of brought it today it's really cool that he's doing a fiero i don't see too many fieros out there not yeah. always about the uniqueness and that's what i like a lot and uh, yeah, you put a big motor in there, you're making some decent power. I'm assuming it's a light shell. Let's see how it looks. Bo cool. Yeah, body looks clean, stance looks clean on it. Very cool. I appreciate builds like this. Yeah. Because you don't see them often. Oh, nice, nice, supercharged. Supercharged, yeah. supercharged V6, I'm assuming. Yeah. Don't know much about these cars. Yo. That's, yeah, that's clean. Yo, that's I like it, bro. Car. I like that. See Very that? cool. I like how you put work into a car not many people put work into, and you put a V6 in there, bigger motor, supercharge it, making bigger power. Very, very yeah. badass. For an older car to have a nice clean body like that, yeah. really, and it, I don't keep it stylish. It's it's nice, man. Just simple and clean, and that's Make it. Making some power. Make a little bit of power on there. Suspension looks it. good. Me that's personally, good. I don't know enough about Fieros to say you should need this or you should need that. Yeah, I so agree. I'm gonna say I like the wheels, the compliments of the car. Maybe you can go a little lower. But I'm assuming you're not low for a reason. Just maybe a smidge lower. Yeah. Just a smidge. Yeah, the wheels go along with the car yeah. too. Right? But like not my style wheel, but yeah, I'm not yeah. sure what else I had. I'd have to think about what to put on there, but it's nice though. Right? I like the wheels. I think yeah. they look good. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on the count of three, we're going to rate out a 10. One, two, three, eight. Oh, 
Oh shit, I was gonna say E2. Oh, the only reason go. for me, gotta go a little lower. It's not my personal taste, but I respect it. Yeah, I respect it. Yeah, yeah it's all it unique and Mahan. the age. It's nice. You did a really, really good nice. job with the body, yeah, man. Really, really, really good nice. job. All right, so let's move on. We have a 2019 Honda Civic hatchback manual, modless Type R wing, DC2 spring, custom straight exhaust intake, charge pipes, catch can, some braces, tint, visors, lips, wheels, tires. You basically did all the basic stuff to make a car look good right in the beginning. This is like my modless I would do personally to a car to start off with and then go a little more and beyond afterwards, but very cool, very clean, mm -hmm. very clean. I'm a personal sucker for hatches. If the hatches came in SI, you yeah. guys wouldn't see a sedan, I promise you that. I almost got the manual instead of the SI. It was very close, very, very close, but I needed the SI features. Looks really clean. I like it. Mm. I like the black on black. Very clean, looks like the paint's in good condition. Ooh, if you get those, if you get the, the headlights, like the turning headlights on here. Yeah, I agree. That front end would be yeah. complete in my opinion. Alexandra, yeah. what do you like? What do you don't like? I like it, I like it. I don't know, I, it's it's aggressive looking. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, similar. We got similar taste. Well done, sir. He's got all the bolt-ons done. Made yeah, some, you made some power. It looks good. What wheels he's got? Those are, let's see here. Cosmos Racing Wheels, nice. XT005 bars to 18 by 9 plus 25. Oh, nice. You guys are you guys are inspiring me to go wider with my wheels because like everyone I know is doing like 18 by 9 plus 35, 18 like that guy did 18 by 10 plus zero. On the count of three? <laughs> One, two, three, eight, seven, nine. Oh, she's an easy critic. Me, I'll just change the wheels. Yeah, and the headlights. And the headlights. Get, like the newer style headlights. And yeah. maybe get a nice carbon hood. Yeah. I think it would look really good. Pretty, but it, look, it looks nice though. Yeah, regardless. Nice and clean, whatever. Good and, job, dude. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Keep up the great work, Philippe. Next, we have Jay Mystery. He's got a 1984 Volkswagen Rabbit nice. GTI. Very cool. He's colored, change it to Eve Green. Uh, he's got a four inch drop. He's got Work 003 wheels. The reps, who cares? Updated LED headlights. And uh, yeah, a very small list, but it looks super clean. I like an older car like this. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Very that's cool. Raphael, man. See? From there there there's oh, there's a nice before yeah. and after. Yeah, good job, man. Looks that's really cool. clean. Very yeah, cool. That's nice. I don't know much about Volkswagens, unfortunately, so I can't tell you what you should or shouldn't do. I think the wheels yeah. complement the car. Yeah. I think that's is it that old school. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you get did a good job on color choice. You don't see. I'm assuming you don't see any <laughs> Volkswagens looking like this that are yeah. green. And the gold with the silver look looks very, very cool. Yeah, yeah good job, dude. Car, man. Good job. I think Maybe if. There. You can get a front lip of some sort, I'm sure. Yeah, it, I think you can get you those V-dub, like those, those, those black those lips. Thick, those thick yeah, lips that can go around. I think yeah. that would, it would go with the flares as well. Yeah, it would. And I think, I think that would beef up the front, which is probably just, to me, lacking just a little bit. If you can get a nice thick front lip there, it would look badass. Even like the red, maybe turn it black, I don't know. Yeah, like the red, I'm assuming yeah. that's like... Like, I don't know if that's probably just like how it comes, maybe, but... Yeah, maybe, but yeah, maybe if that was black, it would probably like clean, clean it up, it up a, a little bit. But very cool, nice build. Yeah. Good job, Jay. All right, Alexandra, this is like your hatches. You like hatches, but this is a V-dub hatch. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen like this They're, car. It's an old car, right? Yeah. So you don't yeah. see it too often. You did a good job with the bodywork, definitely. Yeah. Looks good, it looks clean. Looks good, yeah. I like the color, it's cute. There you go, it's cute. <laughs> I know I shouldn't say that. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's read it out of 10 in the count of three. Uno, dos, tres, seven. seven. You gotta say it at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> goes, oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah, she's like agree with her. Like, yeah, I can see. What was yeah, yeah. yeah. I say seven. I only say seven because I don't know much about, much about the car. Yeah, I, I agree. And uh, so I don't know like, like what to, I'm comparing it from the before and after. Yeah. So like, I mean, it's amazing the difference. Yeah, the, I, I think you did a great job. I, yeah, I, I think you can like push it. Yeah, you can push it a little just bit a little more. more. But it, it it is nice though. So I that's just a respectable like seven for me. Well like, done. Me but too. It, it, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice. Try looking into a front lip if possible. Like I said, we don't know much about GTIs here or yeah. V dubs. But if you can get a nice front lip on there, a nice thick one, it's gonna beef up that front end. And that little red pinstripe. Yeah, I, maybe. I personally would go black because yeah. the green, red, gold is a lot of colors. Like I said, personal taste. Yeah. That might be a big thing in Volkswagen communities, but for me personally, that's it. Yeah, yeah. All right, Jake, good job, sir. Now we're gonna go off to a very clean HM build. His name is Josh, he's got a YouTube channel. Link down below, check him out. 
He's got some cool stuff. He's building a very, very cool HN. Uh, let's go through the mods before we see the picture so we have an idea. It's a 2009 Honda Civic SI, Skunk 2 headers, exhaust, Kraftwerk supercharger kit. Well done, nice. son. 17 by 9 raised grams light, one of my favorite wheels, so very, very nice. Action 3 stage clutch, 11 pound flywheel. He's got carbon trunks, Mugen R hood. Uh, it's not in the photo, he said. And what else? He's got some camera arms, some acuity goodies, and a Mugen R front end. And I like the color. He obviously did a color change, custom headlights. I like that lightish bluish gray with a dark blue wheel. But is that a, is that blue? Yeah, it is. I like that. Engine bay is looking clean. It looks like you need a Honda emblem, but yeah, I think your focus is within the engine bay right now. Do we get any better photos of the engine bay? Not, no, we don't. But I know because I follow him personally. As you see, he did with a purple and teal theme. Even the headlights, yeah, purple. The headlights, yeah, like very cool. And I'm not sure if this is a wrap or it's painted. I can't remember. But you did a really good job, man. Yeah, I like the color. Yeah, really good job. It's clean. Yeah. All, it's clean all around. The bay, you look like you did a really good job. Put some time and focus into that. And I like the light, lightish gray with the blue wheels. Uh, yeah. Graham's Light are my favorite, one of my favorite wheels there, the 5070Rs. And uh, yeah, Alex? For me, I like the like I like the color, I like the whole car. I even like the colors there and everything. But the headlights, I'm just not feeling those headlights. I, I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's that purple with like even like the blue. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's yeah. That's to me like that's just throwing me off. Yeah. Personally, but uh, aside from that, it's it's a solid looking car, man. I like the color. I like what you do with the bay and everything. But and even the wheels are nice. Complements the car too, like yeah. with the color. Uh, but yeah, just like the headlights just throw me like really off a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, aside from that, yeah. Yeah, me personally, I think you did a great job. I love the wrapper, the paint. Not sure what you did there. Yeah. It's really really good. Wheels are one of my favorite wheels. Try getting them for quite a long time for my attention. Hard to find yep. used anyway. Uh, like the bay, well done. You can use a Honda emblem and maybe you can, you know that thick lip you can get underneath the Mugen RR bumper? I think that would go well. Because so I'm assuming you're going carbon hood like you said. Then you get that thick lip and oh, yeah. maybe some side skirts. If you could have pulled off the Mugen R diffuser in the back with the same color as the car with a bit of black, it would look really, really cool. And if you want to throw it up a notch, that black part, you can actually get done in carbon. There's some specials that do that. And that would look really cool. That was something I was going to do with my HN that I was looking into. But yeah, just get lips all around, a Honda badge. I'm okay with the headlights. I don't mind them. I think it suits the car. I think it's cool. I think it's a cool little touch. You know what time it is? Yeah. One, two, three, nine. nine. Oh, nine. eight, seven, nine. Still a pretty good rating all across the board. Go first. Okay, reason for seven for me is the the headlights. Uh, obviously, I don't see the the hood there yet. Um, the obviously for me emblems as well, uh, and the skunk to exhaust. I I probably lose that because to me I it's just a little too it, much. Yeah, it's a, a few times already. Yeah, it's just I kind of like got out of that like loud exhaust phase kind of thing, and it's just for me it's just not like not for me. But uh, aside from that, like. It's a solid seven because the car is beautiful. Like I love the color of the wheels and obviously the craft color combo. Yeah, the craft works and the color combo in the bay and everything. But yeah. that's about it for me. Yeah. For me personally, I said nine. I think he did a lot with this car. I know with the engine bay yeah. itself, you did a lot. I remember you telling me the numbers were pretty high that you made. Um, I know you had a bit of trouble in the beginning going through. You had some issues with the craft works kit, just like I did when we first installed it. But get some badges. Get those lips all around. If you get the Mugen R diffuser in the back with the carbon hood, I think you got yourself a solid, solid car. If you want to add some more carbon, the spoon carbon mirrors look perfecto. Yeah. But aside from that, good job, Josh. Yeah, good job, man. So we got a very cool build coming in. It's Ryan. He's got himself a 2015 Scion CC. See, we don't discriminate against any cars are built. Send them in. Uh, what's up, dude? Love the channel. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. Uh, he's got full bolt-ons with headers, intake downpipe, cat back, coilovers, Cosmos wheels. He's got a front lip, and yes, so it's an automatic, but he's got a shift boot and a cover over it. Let's check out his build. Yeah, it looks really cool. I like the color. Tell me look all right. Mm -hmm. Not, I'm personally not a fan of the toe straps. Yeah, me neither. But splitter makes it look aggressive. Mm -hmm. You said it's an. Uh -huh, now I see. Yeah, and you, you put the boot over with the shift knob. Okay, not bad. Your full bolt-on's got some carbon in the bay. 
Not that bad. Yeah. yeah. yeah cool car. Yeah. These are. I, I always, I always thought these were cool looking cars. Nice two doors. Yeah. And uh, I've seen some really cool ones. Alexandra, you can start this time. I actually like the car. Yeah. It's a really nice car. Did you change anything? I dig it. Would I change anything? Yeah. Probably not. No. I like the color. I like the wheels. Very cool. Inside's cool. Very cool. Yeah. Alex. Uh, yeah. For me, I would have to go with the tail lights. Not crazy about it. Uh, the toe straps and me as well, I'm not crazy about it. But uh, aside from that, like you know what, it's a the splitter in the front's not bad. Yeah, yeah it suits the front end, it yeah. gives it that more aggressive touch. Yeah, but uh, a big grill. Yeah. Um, aside from that, it's pretty clean. Like I even like the the color of the car with yeah. with the color of the wheels. Maybe a different wheel for me, but aside from that, uh, yeah, it's a nice looking like little car, man. Uh, yeah, it's very pretty, cool. Yeah, pretty clean. So for me personally, I like everything. Aside from the toe shop, unfortunately, I'm not a toe shop guy. I can dig, I can dig the tail lights because it kind of goes with your white. But one thing I will say I do not like, and I'm sorry, is the fake shift boot with the with the knob that makes it look standard. I had an automatic. Oh, yeah, I had an automatic HM for um, a while that I modded, and I feel the pain. Trust me, I was there. I had it for a few years before I got into this like in six speed standard, or I had my EP3 after that, so five speed. And you have automatic, dude, just own it. Yeah, you just own it. Own man. it, it happens. Yeah. I had it for a while. I was embarrassed, me personally, I'm not saying you are, but me personally, I was embarrassed of it for a little bit. But then what's cool about you is at least you have the, the Tiptronic and just own it. Like GTIs are automatic, yeah. supercars are automatic yeah. these days. I, I was ditch, rocking, man. I was ditching. Yeah, you got full it. bolt ons like the automatic probably look, look and everything. Probably it, moves man. pretty nice. But aside from that, clean build, dude. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. All right, so we're gonna rate this out of 10 in the count of three. Uno, dos, Tres, seven. You got it at the <laughs> count of three, man. You go too quick, I got a thing. At the, you like everything, so. I do, but I don't want to say 10. If you like it, just read it, it's what you feel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what would you say? Eight. Beer break. For <laughs> Is that for real? At the very last one for today, we have Ivan. He's got a 2018 Honda Civic Sport Touring. Very cool hatchback. I'm a fan of the hatchbacks, as you guys know. Okay. All right, so he's got a Buddy Club steering wheel, a cutie short shifter, some more cutie stuff, uh, True Heart coilovers, NKTY5s, exhaust, intake, wing, lips, smoke side markers, carbon fiber grill, or no, CTR front grill, sorry, and some sway bars. So let's look into, I like the grill, because that's something similar to what I got. Is that carbon? No, I think it's just carbon wrapped. Oh, it might uh -huh. be a carbon emblem. Very cool. Kind of sleek. Some nice fitment there, very flush. The wheels are all right. At least you got that whole black flow going. The black on black, black mamba. Fitment's nice, I would say. You know, could go yeah, over if yeah, you really fitment's, wanted to. Fitment's good. But at least you're tucking tire a bit, which is respectable. A nice clean build, it's got some, I think you got a very clean build here. Um, I am a picky wheel guy, it's just not my style wheel. Yeah, I, I think, agree. I think your fitment's great, you're tucking tire all around. Yeah, fitment's beautiful. Yeah, I think that is an extra spoiler you have there. The spoiler in the back looks, might be actually, looks yeah, really cool. It is, it is, yeah. I really like I the like hatches. It, I like that. Yeah, I like how they have the built-in diffusers. I think I would change the wheels personally. And uh, yeah, he's got the nice headlights there. Yeah, for me, I guess wheels. Uh, and uh, I like the lip, but uh, I don't know. I guess like the, the splitters. The rods, I guess. I probably would not put the rods. Uh, uh, emblems probably like I don't, for me I would get either the red or the leave the chrome, chrome. for me. Mm -hmm. um, aside from that, it's just like a nice simple like clean car. It looks like you're starting off there, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Darling, what do you have to say there? Would I drive it? Yeah. Would you own this car? Oh, of course. It's a clean black car. I like that. It, how dark are the windows? The tinted windows. It's got some nice tint there. Yeah, I like the, the dark. Yeah, the tint. The, tint. the rear is I like the all black. But yeah, I agree with the wheels. I'm not, I'm not crazy about the wheels. Not crazy. On the count of three, we're going to rate your car, Ivan. One, two, three, six. Seven. Ooh, we got. He's in the same. <laughs> uh huh. Two sevens and a six. I'm getting better. Very cool build all around, yeah. I like it. Continue the great work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is our first episode of something like this. We did it, it's a new series. If you enjoyed it, make sure you have to smash a like button and comment down below which car was your favorite out of the 10. And everyone that entered, thank you so much. You'll see you in future episodes. If you do want to enter once again, all the info is in the description. Three good photos minimum, it has to be a modified car, and you gotta, you gotta have like decent photos, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I want to thank Alex and Alexandra. I thought the first one
could have been with the OGs here. And uh, maybe in future episodes, we might have some different people here talking about different builds and stuff like that. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I love you guys. Do it once. Do it right.